Hello, my name's Aaron. And I'm Michael. And you're watching Auto e Clinic. Thank you for tuning in to Auto e Clinic today. What we have in the shop, we've got a 2006 Ford Explorer. It's got a V8 in it. Tell us what's wrong with it, Mike. The customer's complaining of under a load under about 45, 50 miles an hour, like up a hill, claiming of a bucking and a jerking. Now, it sounds like a misfire to me, but I'm not sure. He's also said the check engine light's on. So I think the first thing we need to do is check out and see what the check engine light is. And if we need cool. to after that, we'll go drive it. All right, well, let's get started. All right. Okay, now we have our codes. You can see our first code is a P0305. That is a cylinder five misfire detected. That is what we want to diagnose first. You can also see we have a cylinder head over temperature detected as well. We're going to want to check that out also to see if the two are related whatsoever. We can't tell you right now. We've got to go to the computer to see what the diagnostic information from the manufacturer, in this case Ford, says. So let's go to the computer. Let's look at a 305 and then a P1285 and see what we have. Okay. We looked at the flow chart or diagnostic chart from Ford, and we need to diagnose the P0305, the misfire first. The misfire code can actually cause the PCM to freeze up and set the P1285, the over temp code. So right now, let's go ahead. We know we had a cylinder five misfire. Let's go and pull out our number five coal pack and see if we see any physical damage of where it's been arcing. Okay. Now you can see from pulling it out, you can see where we've had moisture here. And moisture, if you have an intake leak, will soak into these boots and destroy them. And you'll have nothing but arcing and a misfire. So we know for a fact this coal pack needs to be replaced. Now, if we had a problem with it leaking, as far as the intake, we would need to replace this intake gasket. This intake gasket has already been replaced. But the customer didn't replace as many coal packs as he needed to. So we know for a fact that the coal pack's going to have to be replaced and then we're going to clear the codes and redrive it and try it, make sure the misfire code goes away, and then see if that P or the P1285 comes back. And if it's gone as well, we know we did our job. But keep in mind, you cannot have moisture like this on any kind of coil pack or spark plug wire that goes into the cylinder on the spark plug. This coolant will deteriorate the boot and once again cause your misfire. This is just by looking at this, I can tell you right now, it's going to have to be replaced. Some people might tell you that you can clean it off or replace the boot. I've never had any luck with replacing the boots. Every time I replace the boot, and you'll see, here's what actually takes the, the current, the power from the coal pack to the spark plug. And it only hits, it's only got two spots where it actually touches. Every time I've replaced one of these and put it back together like this, it has always failed and gave me a problem. Always, every time. I've had customers before that have brought me the 4.6 motors from Ford that have put off all the coal packs, replaced the boots and springs, put them back together, and then we had to go back and replace all the coal packs with new ones because they would not work. I don't know why. I don't need to know why. I just know that every time you replace the boot and the spring, it causes a failure. So at this point, we need to buy the entire coal pack assembly. And then this, we know it's on cylinder five. Hopefully, they'll take care of the misfire. If it does take care of the misfire, hopefully, it'll take care of the P1285. So let's go ahead and replace that coal pack. Okay, now we have our new coal pack. This is a Borg Warner. From what I've seen aftermarket, they make a pretty good coal pack. We don't have any problems out of them. So we've got a good fit in there. Now we're going to crank it up. We've got the coal pack installed. We're going to go ahead and clear the codes, take it out and drive it, and put it under a load. Now under a load is when the vehicle is in the highest gear, in this case in drive, overdrive. You're going to feel it go into the highest gear about 45 miles an hour. That's typical for most vehicles. And we're going to climb a hill at 45 and then steadily just climb the hill, barely pressing the accelerator, and that's when the vehicle's under the most load, and that's when you'll have an ignition misfire. We're gonna take it out and drive it and confirm that the misfire is gone, and then see if we have any other codes in there from there. 